Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahdi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these beautiful social cards using Elementor Page Builder. So here initially, we can only see the social media icons and when we hover over on it, we can see more details about the social media icons within these cards. And this is really handy when you have got different links within a single social media. Let's say here within this card, you can link it with your Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile separately. Now I will show you how to do that using Elementor Page Builder from scratch step by step. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor Page Builder. To take a new section, let's click on this plus icon and here I'm taking this three column structure. Let's now make its height to minimum height and I'm setting it in VH. Let's set it 100 VH. Now let's give this section a background color. So from here, I'm selecting the background color that's hash FFF9F9. Alright, now inside this middle column, click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging an inner section widget. Let's now delete one of these columns. So right now we have only one column inside this inner section. Now make sure you have selected this inner section. From here I'm making the height to minimum height and let's set the minimum height to 200 pixel. Also set the column gap to no gap and vertical align to middle. Now as we are using this middle column for Facebook, so from here I'm selecting a color that matched with Facebook. From here I'm selecting the color hash 3949AC. Now also open the border because I wanna add box shadow with it. From here click on this pencil icon. From here just make the blur value to 20 and the spread value to negative 10. Alright, now let's go under advanced tab. From here I'm adding 15 pixel of padding. Now inside this inner section, I want to put an icon. So from here, I'm just dragging an icon widget here. So first select the icon. I want to display here Facebook icon. So let's select this one and click on insert. Go under style tab. First, I'm making its color to white color. And then let's make the size to 75. Perfect. I want to also add some space at the left and right. To do that, let's just select this outer column, go under its advanced tab and from here, unbind this padding. Now only on the left and right, I'm adding 30 pixel of padding. All right, now I will be creating the bottom section that will have all the links like Facebook group, Facebook page, Facebook profile, like that. So to do it, we can easily just duplicate this inner section. So let's duplicate this inner section from here. Now inside this duplicated inner section, first I'm removing this icon from here. Also, let's select this inner section, go under its style tab. From here, I'm making its color to white color. And I also want to change its box shadow a bit. So from here, open this border, click on this box shadow. Now here, I'm making the vertical value to 10 and blur, let's make it 35. All right, now inside this second inner section, click on this plus icon and here I'm searching for social list. Actually, it's not social list, it's icon list. So drag this icon list inside this second inner section here. Now let's select this first item and here let's say first one I wanted to say Facebook page. Then I'm okay with this check icon, but if you want, you can change it with any other icons. All right, let's close it. And then you need to put your Facebook page URL inside this link field. For now, I'm just putting here a simple hash. Then I'm deleting this two, so delete this one. All right, so here we have got one items that is Facebook page. Let's now simply duplicate it. And here instead of Facebook page, we can say it Facebook group. And let's duplicate it one more time. We can say Facebook profile. All right, let's now go under its style tab. From here, I'm making the alignment to centered and here is space between. I'm making it seven. Now let's turn on the divider. So here we can see a divider in between the items, but I want to reduce the width. So I'm making the width to 55 pixel. So we are done with our layout. Now I want to add the beautiful effect. Like initially only the icon will be shown and when you hover over on it, we can see these details with different links. So to do it, the first thing we need to do, let's first select this first intersection from under its advanced tab. We need to add a class name here. That would be social dash logo. Remember, you need to put the exact class name like this social dash logo. Otherwise it won't work. And then with the second intersection, let's select it. 
from under its advanced tab we need to add another class name here that would be social dash details all right now to create that effect we need to add some custom css so first let's select this column remember this is the outer column not this inner columns so select the outer column from under its advanced tab let's open the custom css field by the way custom css is only available on elementor pro i will put my elementor pro affiliate link in the description if you purchase elementor pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but i will get a little commission for that that will help me to continue this youtube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this all right now inside this custom css field you can write the css by yourself but you don't have to do that because i already have written that code for you you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description as well from that page if you scroll down a bit here you can see social card open css from there just copy this css snippet and go inside elementor then paste the css snippet here now have a look here we can see only the social icon at the beginning and when we hover over on it we can see these details with links here it's really a cool and a smooth animation effect so you see it's working perfectly on the desktop view now have a look how it's looking on mobile device and tablet device so to check it from here let's click on the responsive mode icon let's first go to the tablet view on the tablet device it's working perfectly let's now go to the mobile device on mobile device it's also working perfectly but you know on mobile there is no hover option but it will still work whenever people will tap on their mobile this below inner section will appear but actually on mobile device i don't want this effect i want to show all of them initially so to do that let's go to jimfahaddigital.com again from there if you scroll down a bit here we can see social card mobile css just copy this css snippet from here go inside elementor and then just after our existing css here i'm hitting enter a couple more time to make some space then just paste the css snippet here now you see without hovering over on it we can see the social icon and the details initially we don't need to hover or tap on the mobile device but on the tablet device and on the desktop device we can only see the social icon and when you hover over on it we can see the details here perfect but to double share it's working perfectly on mobile device and tablet device we need to duplicate this then we can have a real look so to duplicate it we can just hover over on this outer column and then let's duplicate it and i'm duplicating it one more time let's now delete the empty column from left also let's delete the empty column from right now with the very first one let's select this icon and here i'm making this icon to a linkedin icon so this one select it to change the background color let's select this inner section go under its style tab from here i'm changing this color to hash f6871a and then you know if you want to change these links or this text just click over it from left open the content tab and from here instead of facebook page you can write here linkedin page then here instead of facebook group we can just simply write here linkedin group and here instead of facebook profile we can simply write here linkedin profile so same technique for this one just select this icon and here instead of facebook i'm searching for instagram so select the instagram icon and to change its background select this inner section go under style tab from here i'm changing this color to hash f63589 and you know we can easily change this text and links from here so instead of facebook page I wanted to say Instagram profile and then the second one I wanted to say Instagram business and let's just delete the third one because it will be vertically aligned even if we keep the two items here let's now have a look how it's looking on mobile device and tablet device so from top let's select the tablet device on tablet device they're looking great now go to mobile device on mobile device they're looking great but we need to add some space in between these cards so make sure you have selected this outer column from under its advanced tab just unbind the margin only at the top and bottom i'm adding 30 pixel of margin then we don't need to add with this second one so let's just select the third one select its outer column 
go under advanced tab unbind the margin and only at the top and bottom i'm adding 30 pixel of margin only for mobile device so right now they're looking great on the mobile device also on the tablet device and also on the desktop device so let's close the responsive mode from here now it's looking really great so when you are happy with it don't forget to click here on this green update button to save your work i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel also if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.